My name is Margie Luisius, and I'm currently doing a master's in public health and clinical effectiveness, and I'll be graduating from the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health in May 2016. So there were definitely several experiences that led to that aha moment where I knew I wanted to do public health. Two of those moments actually occurred most recently during my residency, which I did in New York City. I did it at a hospital in New York City, which is located where the Upper East Side of Manhattan and the East Side of Harlem meet. So I found myself at that time in the juxtaposition of two very different worlds. One, where there was economic, food, housing and security, wealth, private insurance, and the other, which was totally different, where there was housing, economic, and food insecurity, but also public insurance and, or even no insurance at all. So it was actually my first time really seeing through the lens of a healthcare professional that there was truly inequity in America. What you um, may not know is that in certain inner city communities, about 30% of people can have asthma compared to 10% of the country. The solidifying moment for me actually occurred in 2011 where I had the opportunity to work in Cameroon. There I was doing research on gestational diabetes and HIV positive pregnant women. And in addition to that, I had the opportunity to take care of patients on the wards and I was able to take care of my first asthmatic patient abroad. And that was the moment when I thought to myself, wow, asthma is truly a global disease and the idea that it only affects high income countries is false. I knew that coming to this school would provide me with effective skills in biostatistics, epidemiology, and research design, which would allow me to be an independent investigator. Right now, I'm working on a pilot project to improve the communication between school nurses and asthma specialists and primary care providers in inner city schools here in Boston. After I graduate, I hope to become faculty at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and to also obtain funding to expand this program to additional schools in the inner city.